Hey guys, so what I'd like to do in this video is just quickly talk about hard drives. Now I've spoke about this before. In my last video, I did a video about my Sony PlayStation 4 and I did a tutorial showing you how to replace the hard drive and then reinstall the operating system, etc. That's what I did to this PlayStation 4 and it's all good to go. Now the hard drive that I put into this was my replacement drive and it's that Firecuda drive and it's kind of a hybrid, a hybrid drive. It's essentially a mechanical drive. It's a 2.5 inch mechanical drive HDD, but it has an element of SSD in it, like a cache. And it's kind of the best of both worlds where you get a lot of storage, but you've also got a little bit of a boost because of a small amount of SSD in it, a, a small solid state drive. Now, at the end of the year, when the Xbox uh, Series X comes out, when the PS5, etc., comes out, they're going to be using solid state drives. And I suspect that from now on, that's what we're going to have to do. If you want a new hard drive, if you want a larger hard drive, you're going to have to pony up the cash and buy a solid state drive. But in this generation, in the generation of PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, then you've actually got a little bit of a decision to make. You can use a hybrid, a hybrid drive like I've got. You can use a, a mechanical hard drive or you can use a solid state drive. And mechanical drives, you get a lot of storage for your money and they are normally the cheapest solution. The one I've got was a little bit more expensive because it's got that SSD element of it and it's a little bit quicker. Or, or you can go with a solid state drive and SSD. You'll pay a lot more uh, money for it. I mean, if you look at the, you know, the, the difference in pricing between you know, a one terabyte or two terabyte drive between a mechanical drive and a solid state drive, it's not as bad as it was a few years ago when I actually bought this drive, but there is still a significant difference and you will pay more for a solid state drive. Now, the question that a lot of people might be asking is, is it worth actually upgrading to a solid state drive? And in this generation, there is an argument for going for just a mechanical drive. Now, mechanical drives, I would say, generally have a higher failure rate. And like I saw with this drive, it failed earlier this year and I had to get a replacement. But I remember when I got this drive, I did a lot of tests with it when I did a review on my tech YouTube channel. And when I got the, the drive, I did a lot of tests and I was testing the booting times of, of the system and I, I was testing the, the boot times of games as well. So just to kind of summarize what I discovered then, with the regular hard drive, the original hard drive that I got, it was the slowest for booting, it was the slowest for loading games. When I got this, boot times were improved. It was faster loading and it was a little bit quicker in loading games. And that's what you'll see with a solid state drive, it will be faster to load up your system, it'll be faster to load games. But what a lot of people forget and what a lot of people kind of miss the, uh, miss the point about solid state drives is that PlayStation 4s and Xbox Ones were designed for everyone. They're not just designed for people that have solid state drives. And what I mean by that is Yes, a solid state drive or a hybrid a hybrid drive that's got a solid state drive element in it, it will boot up your system quicker, it will load your games quicker, but once a game is loaded, your games will run at the same speed as someone who's got a mechanical drive. There is little real world performance uh, improvement when you switch to a solid state uh, drive. Certainly with most of the games that I've tried, there really wasn't any kind of performance boost in the games. The games ran at the same speed I didn't feel that anything was quicker. It was quicker, it was quicker when I was booting up, it was quicker when I loaded the game. But we're not talking night and day, we're talking, you know, I, I you know, with this drive, I probably saved about five or 10 seconds when loading games and things like that. And solid state drives might reduce that even more. But again, once the game is loaded, once you're actually in the game, you're not really gonna get any real you know, improvement from going with a more expensive solid state drive. It's just something to bear in mind, guys, because depending on your game library, you might want to pony up the extra cash and go with a solid state drive. So you do get faster load times, faster boot times. But if you've got a big game library, there is a good argument. Certainly, you know, in this generation, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, there is a good argument for just sticking with a mechanical drive and sticking with a drive that's got more storage. Of course, when I bought that drive years ago, it, there wasn't an option for buying an external drive for the PlayStation 4 and putting your games on it. So another option is to buy a solid state drive with, um, you know, even a smaller drive, a one terabyte drive or something, buy that for your PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, and then simply buy a larger mechanical drive for storage for all your games. 
It's up to you guys, but I just thought I would do a video about this. I think it's an interesting topic and it's something that maybe some of you haven't really considered before. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll speak to you all in the next one. Take care.